right, hello everyone and welcome to our special presentation titled Swing Trading Made Easy. My name is Steve Chappell, the Director of Trading Systems Development here at VectorVest. And as you might have guessed by the title, I'm here to talk about a swing trading trading system. And it's one that's going to be very easy to do. All we're going to need are the right tools for the job. And I believe here at VectorVest, we have got some incredibly powerful tools that are going to get the job done and get it done easy. So let's take a peek. Uh, just to bring you up to date, I have talked about this system before. And that actually carries some weight in this presentation as some real result could have been achieved if one's paying attention. Back on September the 7th of 2018, we had a special presentation titled Become a Swing Trading Wizard. And the exact same trading system we're going to talk about today was divulged then. And one of the things that we were keen on at the time is this is not back-tested result that you see on the screen at the 29.5% gain. This was actual real-time result uh, taking forward a concept that we had developed prior to April uh, of last year. And seeing it work in real time uh, led us to believe that we've really had gotten onto something here and something that we wanted to share with you folks. Uh, lo and behold, if we look then at the final picture rounding out 2018, uh, realizing that everything from September on, again, is forward result in actual trades in real time. Uh, this portfolio, this automated system, uh, went on to achieve more than 50% returns in less than a calendar year. And so we were very, very happy uh, with that result, of course, and it's something that we've been following and tracking and now trading uh, in uh, a live trading room that we have called the Jockey Club. More on that later. Uh, but uh, incredible, incredible performance. One of the things that struck me uh, is not so much even just the 51%, but the reliability in which the trading system was able to achieve that and really was able to push the needle higher month after month after month, even in some of the most turbulent times like late 2018, where the market really uh, took a bit of a nosedive. Uh, you can see that represented here in the, the last couple of months of the equity curve. And one of the things that you're going to notice is there are flat spots across that equity curve. Uh, those are times in which this automated system will simply go to a cash position when the market really turns sour. And that's one of the big advantages of the system uh, is that we're going to make precise entries and exits and we're going to keep ourselves out of harm's way when the market really does turn nasty. So in looking at the current campaign, this is just really since October the 9th, uh, of this year, uh, it's up another 11.61, and you'll see even higher in the real time result uh, as I get to that when we get into VectorVest here in just a bit. So I think we're up over 12.5% uh, as of the time of this webcast. Uh, but you'll also see, you know, we did uh, move the trading system from one brokerage to another and unfortunately lost some of the data in between because there was some really good story there as well. Uh, as you might imagine, we started off this year with a bang uh, as the stock markets really uh, caught fire in January and February. Uh, hit some rocky road, uh, I would say, through from May through uh, through July, uh, but since then has, has started to really click along again. And so again, you know, this is now, you're looking at RoboTrader here. This is linked directly to a brokerage account. You'll notice in the top left corner there uh, that this one is now linked to Ally. Uh, we did have it linked up to interactive brokers there for a while. Uh, but uh, again, stunning results and uh, a lot of Jockey Club members now are uh, getting more and more enthusiastic, as you might imagine, about this trading system. And we thought we'd share it with each and every one of you here as we had uh, opportunity to do so again. So let me walk you through how we get to these results. Ultimately, and you may have heard this from us before, but certainly believe it to be true, is your system is ultimately going to determine your success. And so what we need to begin with is a solid system. 
And as I was tasked and set out to create a Derby trading system, you know, the three cornerstones in my mind and, and really have been three cornerstones in VectorVest uh, ever since I've been here is we need to account for when to buy, what to buy and when to sell. Right. So we start with this three sided triangle and those, of course, are the three main components. Uh, but then you need to detail, OK, when we say when to buy, typically that's going to be a market timing uh, technique of some fashion uh, to give you that information. And what we decided to do was use the primary wave. You know, the Derby is incredibly powerful tool. It really finds what's hot uh, at any time you open it up. And so the primary wave is well suited to take advantage of those super hot stocks. And ultimately, that's why we based our decision there. Uh, on the what to buy, instead of just looking at the very top performer on any given day, uh, what we ultimately decided to do was look for the consistent Derby performer. Uh, the, st the strategies are searches in VectorVest that have been consistently making money for the last 90 days. And again, you'll see that here in a sec, how exactly we, we define and do that. The Derby makes it very easy. And then when to sell. And so that's going to come twofold. There's going to be an overriding situation and it's listed first. If we're bullish and we're in a campaign, we're going to be initiating that campaign with 10 stocks. And we're going to hold those stocks as long as we can for profit. But if the market turns against us, because this is a swing trading methodology, uh, the primary wave is the first timing mechanism in VectorVest to alert us to that fact. Uh, we will close the entire campaign down. So even, you know, if 10 stocks are still in the, in the trading system, uh, all 10 positions would be closed the following day after a primary wave down is signaled, just like the 10 positions were bought initially, uh, the day after a primary wave up was signaled. Okay. Uh, then, we're going to manage the stocks in between and we're going to use profit locker. You know, profit locker is, is a revenue revolutionary stop loss and it's, it's proprietary to vector vest. And, and quite simply, it was, it was the best choice. And we're going to use a profit locker target of 28% given the relative short time frame of signal here. That seemed as a, as a good logical starting point there. Uh, to us. And quite frankly, it just tested out very well. We're also going to use a 7% loss. So I, I sort of love the ratio there. For every trade that achieves a 28% target or more, as you know, Profit Locker doesn't just stop there. It'll continue to um, follow price higher if, if price continues on a good roll. So uh, we have taken trades as high as four, over 40%, uh, just to give you some indications there. And also at the same time, cut it at a seven loss, you're dealing with a four to one uh, situation. So it's just a great combination to use and, and really let profit locker shine, uh, given the primary, the quickness, you know, of the primary wave signal. And so to build out from there, what I'm going to do is go into vector vest. We're going to talk about the primary wave, get everybody acclimated to that. Many people sometimes watching these videos can be brand new uh, to vector vest. And so we'll recover some ground there. Then we're going to get into the Derby. We're going to look at how we pick the strategy for each primary wave up campaign. It can be a different strategy each time, or it can be consistent uh, sometimes where that search just remains hot, you know, and that's been the case a couple of times, uh, including uh, on the recent two campaigns. And then also uh, show you how we set the trading system up give you some insights there. And so it should be a complete package and you'll have a good feel for what we're doing. So let me go ahead over to VectorVest and uh, let's talk about the system. All right. So here we are at the home page and the logical place to start is on the timing. And so I'm just going to go to a graphs tab. I've already got it laid out. This is a look at the VectorVest composite, which you should be familiar with at this stage. Uh, it represents the market, the 8,000 8, plus stocks that we currently track, right? What I've done on the bottom is I've put on the primary wave signal. And so each time that we have an up, you receive a green arrow. 
and then it nicely shades in the entire time that the up situation was in play. So you can see as the composite rose there up towards the peak, we're still in that primary wave up until we get the reverse signal, the red triangle for a primary wave down. Now, when we talk about swing trades and really taking advantage of, you know, nailing an entry and exit with precision, what you see on this chart clearly indicates that it can get the job done. It's going to position us very close to market lows on entry and very close to market highs on exit. And it's going to do so repeatedly. Now, when you have a fast timing model, sometimes there's going to be what I think wrongly so in some situations is considered a whipsaw. You might have heard that terminology where, you know, you have a signal that goes in one direction one day and then the next day or in just a day or two switches the other direction. I think of this in, in the trading system that we've designed as an opportunity to refocus on what the market is favoring another time. And almost inevitably, the more times we can do that, the better. We just don't need to go overboard. So the, the timing model jives well with the methodology that we're trying to employ. What can drive some folks nuts, <laughs> you know, are times when, you know, you go long and then uh, the market reverses the next day and does so in a repeated fashion. Uh, again, that's sometimes going to occur because the timing model is on the faster side of things. Oddly enough, on many of those occasions, the portfolio bodes well and we've walked away with some very minor gains in more situations than not when that's occurred. And at the very least, we've walked away with nominal losses because it's, you know, back and forth so quickly. So there is a fair amount of trading. I do want to come back to that. You know, you're, you're dealing with more than 200 trades from April of last year to the end of the year. And you're dealing with uh, more than 100 trades I know so far this year. So uh, there's a fair amount of trading that goes in. And a lot of it occurs as you enter into a new campaign and buy the 10 stocks at the primary wave up. I mean, that's where the heavy activity is. The, the stop loss is just managing the ones that go astray or really go ballistic. And we want to, you know, put that capital into our pocket and get into another position and see if we can do it again. But by and large, most of the transactions tend to occur, you know, simply when the campaign begins and ends. Okay. Now with that, what I want to do next is show you how we pick the strategy because that becomes a big obstacle sometimes for many folks in VectorVest. We have this Unisearch tool, right? And it's incredibly powerful. And, and one of the reasons it is is because there's so many different things you can do with it. But at some point, for some of you, it can, it can seem a little bit overwhelming. And, you know, which one do I want to pick? You know, one of the most common questions I think I've ever received teaching seminars and events is, gee whiz, Steve, you know, listen. You guys have a couple of hundred searches in there. I know you know which one the best is, you know, so just just tell me, you know, and uh, we can go on from there. But the, the reality is, guys, you know, while there are truly some searches that do tend to work better than others most of the time, it's kind of a loaded question because you really want, if, if you're going to be swing trading, you want something that's hot when you do it and know that it is, right? So uh, we're going to use the Derby to come up and solve that riddle. And I'm going to go to the Derby tab. Many of you are probably familiar with some Derby presentations of, of years past. Primarily, we really focus on, you know, what's hot right now. So we're looking at the Derby tab and it takes the quote unquote Derby ready strategies in VectorVest, of which there are many. Um, there's over 180 that we feel are worthy to be in the Derby application. And so they're going to have price and volume uh, constraints that seem reasonable uh, to trading and so on and so forth. It's just really the better performers as well. Uh, so it takes all those strategies and at, at glance throughout the day, if you, you know, if you ask me, Hey, Steve, what's the hottest strategy today? Well, it's bottom fishing and rising industries. And when we look in there, boy, I tell you, uh, most of the stocks are going up. A couple of them are going up big time, you know. And so that can lead you to some good trading opportunities. This ER 
OS. I mean, if you're an intraday trader or something like that, you know, there was a, a considerable amount of capital to be made today. Uh, you know, if that's your, if that's what you like to do, or even just buying the basket, you can see throughout the day, you know, this basket of stocks has, has done quite well, you know, that's actually the strategy I picked for our Derby competition today. And I'm happy to see that, uh, it's right there at the top. It's been at the top all morning, you know, kind of a deal. All right. But that's not what we're going to do. We're not just going to take what's hot today. Uh, we're going to look for even more consistency than that. We're going to look for, hey, I want to find the strategy that's like bottom fishing and rising industries, but it finishes near the top on most days, you know. And so we do that in two ways. And so I'm going to come over here to the analysis mode. And while I don't want to make this an entire tutorial on the Derby, I do want to hit some some uh, education behind the two modes of analysis that we use. So we're going to use vary the start date and sliding window. And we do that intentionally. I'm going to go to vary the start date first because it's probably the easiest to explain. The next thing that we do after selecting the analysis mode is make sure that we use the entire database that's available to us in the Derby, which is a three month rolling window and use all of that data to our advantage. When I do that, what you're going to see is we're looking at 67 trading days now, 67 trading days. And so the most consistent search had you bought stocks, a basket of 10 stocks at any day in the last three months and held them to today what strategy has done the best and it's s p 500 divided by rt so this is a bottom fishing search actually when you click on the bar instead of showing you the 10 stocks now it shows you the runs and you can see the first run is what if we bought the top 10 stocks from s p rt on august the 14th and held them to this very moment uh, in the stock market Okay. And what it says here is you'd have 100% winners, you'd be up about 16%. And then we say, all right, what if we bought the same strategy, the top 10 stocks the next day? And it could be a completely different list of 10. Sometimes there's some repetition. Sometimes it's the exact same 10. But as you work yourself through the data, eventually you're getting to newer stocks for sure. You know, uh, And so what it does is it proves that uh, this strategy has consistently picked winners over the last three months, given holding them all the way to now. Even as we get towards the most recent data, uh, we tend to see some good performances here Okay, as well. Of course, they're not going to be as, as astounding because they haven't had as much holding time to produce those terrific results. But it's trying to find con consistency across the board as best we can. Okay, so that's first things first. Now that's going to produce a list. And by the way, this is a long old long only strategy. So I'm going to go to the top and change it to just the bullish searches to make things a bit easier on us here. Okay, but you can see S&P 500 RT still at the top, followed by Gordon's groupies, which happens to be the search that we've been using now. Okay, and it's not obviously then because it was at the top of this list. But when we cross reference this list with the other one, it's been the most consistent on both lists. So let's look at the other list. I'm going to go to this one and this one takes a little bit more uh, understanding maybe uh, to get behind you. So uh, I'll try to explain things as best I can. You'll notice that I've now dealt with a field here called number of hold days and you'll see that I've set it to five. So when you think about the testing we did moments ago, it has a little bit of a market directional bias in that naturally bullish strategy should be resonating towards the top of that list right now because markets are hitting all time highs. You know, at least individually, the vector vest composite is still not quite there, right? But there's definitely been an upward directional bias over the last three months. Okay. This desensitizes that uh, because it mandates that the holding period from any day you buy can be no more than five calendar trading days. And so it says what strategy has consistently found a basket of 10 stocks that has done the best in just one week and, and has done so 
for any week within the last three months. So there's going to be fewer tests, but the tests are going to desensitize market direction because as you might imagine, then some of these tests, the market was going straight down. Some of these tests, since it's only a week hold, have been, the market was going straight up. And then the majority of the tests are usually somewhere in between. Uh, so by cross-referencing the other list with this one, we can then find strategies that find stocks that tend to go up over the long haul and tend to get off the ground over just the first week. That's important because you want to get off to a good start when your timing is good and precise, as we showed with the market timing graph. Now it's our job to pick baskets of stocks that can get off the ground and, and run, you know? And so Gordon's groupies is three on this list. And so what we do is we simply add up the score. It was two on the other list, three on this list. That's a score of five and lowest score wins. So really in order for uh, another search to be chosen, Thornton's Thunder or S&P 400 mid cap would have to beat Gordon's groupies on the other list. If we go back to vary the start date, again, you'll see that's not the case. Okay, so Gordon's groupies would be our choice. Now, occasionally there's been a tie, and when there's a tie, what we do is we favor the five-day slide, the desensitize, the market direction desensitized list. We favor that selection because we know then if the market's a little bit rockier, that we're still getting a better quality search than potentially uh, with the five-day result. Okay, with the sliding window result. So that's it there's nothing else to it so so if you ask me what's the most consistent search in VectorVest over the last three months and what has been the most consistent search now for the last three months for for the last month in other words it started uh emerging as the the top candidate more than a month ago okay uh, it's been gordon's groupies and that's a search that quite honestly usually isn't even on my radar because it's got some interesting criteria in there. But the Derby is saying, hey, you got to look at me right now because I'm the one, you know. If we, uh, if we go back to the current day, just as a quick aside, look, Gordon's Groupies, it's not at the top of the list, uh, but it's up 1.4% today. It was just 1.5. Of course, right as I show you, it has to jump down a little bit. Let's take a look. Now, there's a lot of shippers in here. Uh, in fact, I think the whole list is shippers. Shippers are hot right now. So you're going to see when we get into our trading system that we've got some criteria set up that doesn't allow us to unweight like that. And it says that you can't buy more than two stocks per any industry group. Okay. So it would simply then, it knows, uh, the, the trading system knows that the list of stocks that continue on beyond what you can see here. And it will eventually fill the 10 stock basket with no more than two stocks per industry from all this, you know, returns from the search itself. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Here is the live account. So this is uh, in Ally. It's hooked right up to the broker. So this is factoring in commissions. You know, there's no slippage. There's, it's not a back test. It's, it's, it's real result. Okay. Uh, when we look at the equity curve, here's where we took off on 1010 right after the most recent call right? The one that really took hold and it's doing really well. Wouldn't you agree? If we look at the holdings, we're down to only five stocks left from Gordon's groupies. It's a pretty selective stock uh, search rather. So, you know, we ran through a bunch of the Gordon's groupies stocks on the first uh, up uh, here that off the bottom. And then only five were left when we picked it picked up the most recent basket. So we're just rolling with those right now, but they're doing well, you know, up three, 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 two and uh, Anthem, which actually had one of the better looking shorter term charts uh, of the bunch isn't doing quite as well. And that's, that's kind of interesting, but boy, you know, it just keeps getting better too. Uh, last time I looked, we were uh, only up about half a percent today. So doing well today, it looks like. The other thing I can show you here, just to give you a feel for things, and I did this the last time on the How to Become a Swing Trading Wizard presentation, is, is walk you through some of the reports. I'm going to go to the um, trade history report here real quick and just sort by percentage gain. So you'll remember 
uh, we're using a 28% target and a 7% stop loss. But if you remember Profit Locker, remember it has a moving component to it, whereas stock price rises, it begins to follow it up. And the closer you get to the target, you know, the, the more it works actively to lock those profits in. Um, we, as I mentioned, we have had trades in excess of 40% returns last year. Of what I have available to show this year, 26% is the biggest winner, and that was AT, ASTE, rather. Uh, 21% for Cigna, Caterpillar at 17, Centene at 14, uh, CMCO at 1437, Apple at 12, Dell, you know, and the list goes on. A couple of messages. We have more winners than losers. We have far better winners than we have losers in terms of percentage gain or percentage loss. Worst loss is 6.24%. Uh, uh, now, I will tell you, last year we did have one loser that went down more than 20 because it gapped down. And, you know, there will be situations where that will happen. There's no way to get out, you know, uh, when something like that arises. But uh, by and large, this is the kind of uh, a phenomenon that you see. And uh, while our overall win-loss percentage is not as good as uh, what you see here, it has been solid enough, uh, near 50%, to where, you know, your winners far outpace your losers and the portfolio just continues to make money over the long haul. You know, like with any system, there's been a couple of rough months here or there, uh, but uh, the good months have far outweighed the bad ones. You know, that's to be sure. All right, so let me go ahead and close this up. I think you're starting to get the message, and that was the, the main thing that I wanted to get across. So uh, we're going to use the primary wave to get in and ultimately close a campaign. We start that campaign with 10 stocks. We, we use the 10 stocks from the search that the Derby says is the most consistent over the last three months. And then we just manage that with a profit locker, 28 target, 7 stop. Uh, but if I go into manage the trading system, I can show you how that's programmed in and can be automated. So a uh, pretty neat thing if you have RoboTrader. I'm going to come into Customize Trading System. At the very top here, your first choice is Market Timing. And so we've chosen Primary Wave. Uh, on the Automation Rules, here you can see we have, in fact, been using Gordon's Groupies. Under Profit Locker, you'll see that we have, in fact, been using the 28.7. Now this comes by, we have Profit Locker Pro, so we, we use that to our advantage. Uh, it, it does a little bit with the greed tipping, uh, to push it a little bit more aggressive with its, with its, uh, stop loss rise. Uh, but you'll see the 28 and the 7 in here. And whether you use Profit Locker Pro or Profit Locker 28.7, they tend to work fairly similarly with a slight edge to the Pro is what we've seen, uh, in live result. So both are very effective. Okay. All right. So with that, under more settings, again, we start with the 10 positions. We do replace stocks throughout the campaign. So when we take a position at a target gain or a loss, we will replace it. Some of the settings that really matter here are one, we never repurchase the same stocks for 31 days after sale. And that's not for tax advantages or consequences or what you might be thinking of there. It's not for wash sale rules or anything like that. It's, it was really something that just moved the needle. Um, when I was doing a lot of testing, putting the system together, this is something that really made a big difference and it's continued to, to do that. Um, and it's why we're only finding five stocks in Gordon's groupies right now as well. We've already traded, you know, all the other ones uh, that we could. Uh, so it keeps you from repurchasing the same stock another time. And sometimes that could lead to, you know, repurchasing a loser that continues to work against you if you're not careful. And that was the real benefit of that setting is preventing us from doing that. All right. The other thing is maximum stocks, two per industry. And that's the diversification and keeps you from buying 10 shippers, you know, 10, 10 transportation ship. Uh, stocks like you would if you just blindly bought gold, Gordon's Groupies right now. So uh, those are two very important settings and also move the needle. And, and so they're, they're good ones to use. Okay.
And uh, that's it, guys. I mean, th there's really nothing more to it than that. Um, the other thing I would say is if you go to portfolios, even if you don't have RoboTrader, you can set that same system up in the Genius in portfolios and it can monitor it for you here. Uh, same settings. You know, if I just did new swing trading made easy, right? STME. Just set up a new portfolio, came up here to the genius in the top right. I could build a custom trading system and put the same exact inputs in here. So primary wave, go to automation rules up, pick Gordon's groupies, go to stop criteria, pick profit locker and make all the other settings that we talked about. Uh, go to the down and go to cash, so on, etc. Okay. And then you can receive notifications at least of what the trading system is telling you to do either via your, the VectorVest mobile app. Okay. Uh, or right within VectorVest through your email address, what have you. All right. So with that, you know, I'm just uh, continued to be very, well, look, it's still going up. <laughs> so, you know, just continue to be super happy with what we got here. Um, and wanted to share it with you because I truly feel like certainly, uh, for the traders out there, this is, this is an opportunity. I, I'm not sure that you want to miss, honestly. So let me get back over and, uh, let's round things out here. Some other advantages to, um, becoming a jockey club member is not just the trading system. Uh, we do do two and a half hours of live coaching every single trading day, Monday through Friday. And we give step-by-step -step guidance on market direction. We look at our end of day signals before the market opens up. We then reference that with the intraday timing model that's in the Derby called the DTI. And so let me show you that here really quick. I'm going to go back to VectorVest and go to the Derby. And over here on the left, you'll see a Derby timing indicator. And what it's saying is right now you should be bullish. They're both zero to two scale. Uh, the green bar is the bullish bar. The red bar is the bearish bar. Whichever one's out in front, that's the way the market's leaning. And we'd like to see that bar above one and rising, uh, preferably above 1.2 even for some some substantial weight behind it, you know? So very, very nice position. We should be buying stocks today. If I click right on the box, uh, it's been that way since about 11 a.m. this morning, if you were looking to uh, enter in today, okay? And so you get some clear cut information intraday on what to do in terms of, uh, is it okay to be buying stocks right now at this moment? And so we, we like to play uh, the end of day signal along with the intraday signal for that added confirmation. Also, you get daily insight on proper stock selection. We talk about, uh, and oftentimes you'll see us buy baskets from today's derby, from the top performers today as a day uh, trade kind of situation. You'll see us talk about how to cherry pick some of the top performers like that E. ROS that was on fire today. Uh, we actually get in there, look at them on the chart, talk about what a good setup entry and exit would look like uh, for those stocks so that if they trigger, you know, you have something that that you can, uh, some guidance that you can follow there. We also talk about um, analyzing stocks that you might already own. Uh, sometimes we'll hit uh, kind of a, a slow spot in the market where there's not a lot of go, you know, going on and we can, we can analyze some stocks that you already own and, and share those with the group and talk about them. There's also great group interaction now. I mean, we've been doing this for several years. We got some great members. They're in there every single day slugging away with us. And a lot of times we'll pass picks back and forth. Sometimes they'll give us some great stocks to look at before the market even opens up. And uh, after the market's open, some some great trades that they're doing and, you know, just kind of work as a team and share it uh, with one another. We also go through all the important uh, stock news when it's happening, make sure that we're uh, putting some commentary around that as it occurs throughout the sessions. And uh, it's been very informative, I know, for for many people. And also the Derby Weekly Training, we, we that's a great time to really get your questions answered. You know, a lot of times during the live coaching, uh, as we're trading each day, you know, we, we can't get to every single uh, question that somebody might have, but on the, on the weekly Monday coaching, we definitely can. And from time to time, and most times these days, we have some fun and engaging competitions where you can get, uh, actually some, 
some prizes from VectorVest, including, you know, certificates for free months of Derby and, and all kinds of fun stuff. So we just have a ball, guys. And if it's something that you're interested in, I certainly want to give you an opportunity today. It's free for the next 30 days just to, to run and gun with us and try it, try this out, you know, get the free coach, you know, the coaching alone. I mean, this is, this is a no brainer. If you ask me, uh, quite simply, I can't put it any other way. That's the first thing that comes to mind. You're going to get two and a half hours of coaching every day. You want it for the next 30 days for free, you know? So there you go. Uh, it includes the real time service upgrade if needed, because you need real time to run the vector vest derby. Uh, and all you got to do right now is go to www.vectorvest.com slash derby special, uh, to take us up on this offer. When you do that, it'll take you out to a web page that looks, well, this is the web page. Doesn't just look like it. This is the one, uh, you just fill out some quick information. It'll, it'll redetail some of the uh, special that we're, that we're offering here on the left. It also does tell you what the cost is if you decide to continue, you know, in all of all of those things. If you have any questions, you can always call us at support. We'd be glad to uh, to help you out as best we can. Uh, but uh, here's where you fill it out. And if you get her done this weekend, I'll be seeing you live on Monday morning. Uh, and we get together at 9 a.m. every morning, half an hour before the bell starts or, or rings. And we stay with you till 1130 each day. It's a great time and, and good information for one and all. So I highly encourage you to do it. And that's going to wrap things up for this week. So thanks for being with us here today. And we look forward to uh, seeing you next week or at the very least seeing you right back here at Vector Vest University for your special presentation uh, next week to follow. See you then. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.